Well, how many of you, Obama will call into the White House and say, I heard that you don't pay your taxes. Make sure you file your taxes before the expiration date. And if I catch you not filing your taxes, you'll be in suit. And we'll run to the tax lawyer. We'll run to the tax lawyer and say, hey, hey, the president. But they said, King, we don't have to. Don't give us time to go back and think about it. Our minds are made up. It is Jehovah and nothing else. And they get put in the fire. The Bible said that the men that bound them and hung them into the fire furnace, they died from the heat. That was how fiery the furnace was. But these guys were bound, but they were lifting their holy hands in the fire, singing. Almighty God, hallowed be your name. Almighty God, hallowed be your name. Jesus showed up, and the king said, Were you not the men that we cast into the fire? How come a sheep? And by the way, who told him that that man looked like the son of the gods? The devil recognizes the Christ in you. He recognizes the power of God at work in you. Why would you be intimidated? Why would you fear? Why would you give up? Why would you become and grow faithless? Why would you become unfaithful? Why would you believe the devil that your problem is the worst? Why would you believe that your past is unforgivable? Why would you believe that God cannot use you? Why would you believe that you're so filthy that you cannot make it in the house of God? Why would you believe that God cannot bless you? Why would you believe? Why? We have no reason. And we have no excuse. God is faithful. Let all men be liars and let God be true. Naomi, Zacchaeus, these people found God. You know, some of them went to the king and came back to David. You know, some of them changed their names and said, My name means pleasant, but don't call me pleasant anymore. Call me Peter, because the Lord has struck me and afflicted me. And she found grace in the sight of God. Romans 8.35 said, What shall separate us from the love of God? Will it be hunger? Will it be strife? Will it be tribulation? He said, In all things we are more than conquerors. He said, Nothing shall separate us from the love of Christ. If these things did not separate these heroes of faith from the love of Christ, nothing will separate you from the, heart, from the love of God. All you need to do is to hold on to your God. Don't give up. Don't look back like the wife of Lot. Wife of Lot allowed her past to be cloud her sense of the future. And she became a pillar of salt. Don't look at who you were. Look at who you are in Christ. Don't look at your weaknesses and inabilities. Look at the ability of Christ. Look at the ability of God to turn your weakness into strength. Amen. Amen. In conclusion, let us read the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 13. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Go ask him, James, read.
thing. It's a symbol of discomfort. It's a symbol of burden. But Jesus said, if you cannot bear your cross and come after me, you cannot be my disciple. If you cannot be faithful to God in your moments of discomfort, why do you think if you win the tournament and the lottery that you will not win the lottery? It is those trials and hard times that refine you and bring out the best in you. But why do you allow those trials to weigh you down? You say, hear now the conclusion of the matter. This is the conclusion of the matter. Say, fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. You have no other duty. There is no other duty you have. You do not own yourself. So you cannot live your life the way you want. Second Corinthians 5, 15 says, For he died for us and rose again, so that those who live will not live as unto themselves, but unto him who died and rose from them. Why do you say it's my life? I live it the way I want. No, it's not your life. You're living a borrowed life. The master can require your life tomorrow. And what do you get from his presence? Will he say to you, Come, be blessed of my father? Or will he say, Depart from me? You walk out of humility. This is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God. Keep his commandments. It doesn't matter what cross you are carrying. It doesn't matter what discomfort you're in. It doesn't matter what pain you have. It doesn't matter what sickness you have. It doesn't matter how much hungry you are. It doesn't matter how much homeless you are. It doesn't matter how long you've been unemployed. What is important is fear God. Keep his commandments. That is your whole duty. And I believe. He will show up in your situation. Amen. He will show up in your situation. Amen. He will heal you. Amen. He will deliver you. Amen. He will prosper you. Amen. So rise on your feet. I don't know how many of you all heads bowed, all eyes closed.
you know, as a father, I'm so happy to see what is happening. Before I pray for this people, I pray for you first. That what God has put in you are part of your ministry. Let the service you put in military be transferred to the service you put in the kingdom of God. Amen. You know, I remember when God showed me I was an army, I almost went for a good day. But he said, no, you are an army of the Lord. May your experience as a physical army become your experience in military, in spiritual army. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Kingsley from today, I say, arise in the spirit realm. And may the anointing and the wisdom of the word of God increase in your life. Amen. Amen. Go and make a change. Amen. Let the world celebrate you. Amen. From today, may what it takes to do what God wants you to do, may it be given to you. Amen. There are great men in Nigeria, but may you be one of them too. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. We celebrate this one in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh. Yes, oh. I don't know what is breaking you down or what gives you doubt. From the word of God we have heard, with all the samples, what is that impossibility which is facing you? You look at that impossible. But the impossibility, if it meets the possibility, it will change. What is your situation? You have named a series of people with terrible situation, yet there was a solution. So your own will not be a different. God cannot change because of you. You know? That's why I tell people, God cannot change because of changing world. He cannot change because of the system. He remains God. It's not God because of your situation. It's God because it's God. So this morning, because God said it, there's an answer. If that was you, put your hand on your head. My Father, your word is truth. Your word cannot return to you, God. We are a vessel who are brought for and I pray that those who have put their hands on their head because of one situation or the other, you that give answer to those we have heard about, give them answer as well now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let any impossibility become possible for you now. We declare that you join those who will become my parents of faith in this generation. Arise. Arise. And we say, set them on your head now. In the name of Jesus. We change your impossibility to possible. From now onward, go, you are free. Go and come back with a testimony like they did. You are a blessed and you are not cursed. And if you the answer for your soul. Now, in Jesus' name, can the church say amen? Amen. amen.